Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, my name is Robert Wong, and I am the Vice President at Creative BC. I want to welcome uh, everyone to the information session about the upcoming Canada France Series Lab initiative. Uh, this is an initiative being organized by Telefilm Canada and the CNC out of France. Uh, however, before we get started, I wish to acknowledge that uh, Creative BC is on the unceded and ancestral territories of the Coast Salish people, and that does include the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. Today, I wish to welcome Kate Maurice, Advisor of uh, Event Planning and Programming for Telefilm Canada, and Constance Richard, Trade Commissioner, Arts and Cultural Industries Embassy from the Embassy of Canada in France. Also on this call, we have my colleagues, Matthew Perry and Robin McCabulous. Uh, we will be taking questions throughout the presentation and we'll be using the chat function uh, on Zoom and we'll have time at the end for more questions. If you're not familiar with the chat function at the very bottom of the screen, you should see a chat box. You can just uh, uh, enter that and type in your questions. We will be monitoring that chat session and we'll uh, uh, bring up the questions along the way. Also want to make sure that you understand that we are recording the session. However, we will make this uh, the recording available afterwards. Um, with that, I'm gonna pass this over to Kate and Constance and let them uh, tell you more about this exciting initiative. Kate, Constance. Hi everyone, so I'm Constance. Um, thank you very much, Bob and the Creative BC team for having us today. Um, we are very excited to introduce you to this brand new initiative um, that we announced a couple of uh, months ago. Um, so it was created, as uh, Bob mentioned, by uh, Telefilm Canada, um, the Embassy of Canada, of which I'm part of in Paris, um, the CNC, which is the French equivalent of Telefilm Canada, um, the Embassy of France uh, in Canada, as well as Series Media Forum and Ben Ford Media uh, festival and many other partners that I'm going to mention a little bit later on. Um, the series, series Lab is a year-long initiative um, that, is, that was created to help producers like yourselves to, to uh, develop TV projects in fiction only um, with strong international appeal and to help you find the right French co-producer. It also works on the other side, so if you're a French uh, producer and you're looking for a Canadian co-producer. Um, the initiative per se is going to start next March during Series Mania um, and it's going to close a year after that during the next Series Mania forum uh, and it's going to be divided in three phases that Kate is going to introduce you in just a couple of minutes. Um, we work closely, as I mentioned, with Series Mania Forum and Banff World Media, and they're going to be the milestone events throughout the, the initiative. Um, so why did we decide to create the initiative? Uh, the starting point, point was the uh, renewal of the French-Canada uh, co-production treaty, which was Im implemented uh, last May. Uh, it's a modernized treaty uh, that is here to help you better uh, co-produce with friends. Um, but the one thing is that we realized that we didn't have as much uh, fiction TV co-production as we would have expected. So we thought that uh, the, uh, an initiative like this one would help maybe um, drive the new co-production and, and, and for sure help you find the right co-producers. Um, and just some of the reasons, and I'd be happy to chat uh, at another time with some of you, if you're interested to know why it's really interesting to, to co-produce with friends, for sure it's a very interesting and, and large funding scheme, just like we have in Canada. Um, we have large and very captive audience in France for a high quality TV and especially fiction. Um, and also France, uh, as you mostly know, is a door to the European Union, its market and also its audience. Um, so definitely we created this initiative to bring together French and Canadian forces to create world-class IPs. Um, and we, we decided to work with Series Media Forum in France and Benford Media uh, Festival in Canada because 
they definitely complement each other as Series Minia is a way to enter the European market and Banff is a way to enter the North American market. Um, and so in very short, uh, here are the four main reasons for you to join this initiative to find your French co-producing partner, um, to take the most uh, advantages of the new co-production treaty, to help you find new opportunities for your uh, fiction series, not only drama, but also any other genres of fiction and bring those projects to the international scene. Um, and just like I said, uh, to explore the European and the North American markets. Um, and so basically to create this initiative, we had to go through our own co-production process because we brought to the table uh, most of the French and Canadian institutions and organizations. Uh, we mentioned Telefilm, the CNC, Series Mania Banff, the embassies of France in Canada and Canada in France, the Canada Media Fund, but also, especially on the Canadian side, we had, we had great uh, input from the industry and interest. Um, and we are working closely with uh, the Academy of Canadian Cinema and TV, APFC, l'Alliance des producteurs uh, francophones du Canada, CMPA, um, Ontario Creates, and of course, Creative BC, uh, and Bob and his team. And I'm, I'd just like to thank them uh, just now for having us today, but also to help support the BC producers like you um, that might join the initiative. Um, now I'm gonna leave the floor to Kate, who's gonna work through the different phases of the initiative. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm just, I don't see any question in the chat. So if uh, before I started to talk about more uh, about the initiative, uh, if you have question uh, from what Constance said, uh, it's a good time. Um, so I will uh, quickly start. Uh, yeah, is it for long metrage or, or it's for TV series? So uh, yeah, so as uh, as Constance mentioned, uh, is uh, it's the initiative? It's uh, a one-year uh, initiative, and it will be divided in, two, in three phases. So uh, yeah, the first phase, I think, uh, Constance, we can just quickly uh, go to the phase one. So the goal of uh, the phase one is really to find uh, a co-production partner. So the call for entries uh, has been launched in November and the deadline to register uh, is uh, January uh, 23rd. So, uh, so uh, we will, uh, there will be 15 uh, Canadian uh, producers projects selected uh, on the Canadian side and 15 from the French side. Uh, and uh, those 30 people will uh, meet during the Series Mania 2023rd. Uh, and the goal of that is that you find your uh, co-production partner uh, uh, yeah, in France <laughs> with a French producer. So uh, I see a lot of questions. Maybe we can go, uh, Constance, you're responding uh, at the same time. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, so we can go to phase two and three. Um, so yeah, the phase two and three, uh, the phase two will start right after uh, series, the phase one, obviously, uh, at, after Series Mania 2023rd. So um, with your, uh, uh, your uh, duo or pair that you will find at Series Mania 2023rd, uh, you will apply to uh, like together with your project. And after that, we will uh, select uh, between three and five projects that will participate to phase two and phase three. Uh, so uh, Constance will tell you a bit more uh, about the eligib eligible projects and also the selection process uh, after. But uh, yeah, the selection will be made by a jury of experts uh, based on the, the project and the feasibility uh, of uh, of the, the project. Um, so, and the uh, three to five pairs will be uh, invited to participate at BEMF. 
uh, and uh, in Banff, you will have uh, a lot of uh, working sessions. We will organize networking activities, but the re the goal of that is really to meet again, to work on your project, and to see how you can uh, uh, you, you can advance your project. Uh, to so that it becomes a co-production and all that so we'll have like some experts on site also to help you with that uh, mentors and all that so um after that uh, after BEMF, uh you will continue to work together but uh, by september we will have some virtual uh, coaching uh, session uh there will be like uh, individual uh, sessions and we will do group sessions. So it, the individual sessions will really be for um, like according to your needs, what uh, you really need. So if, for example, uh, yeah, it won't be the same experts for, for each uh, pairs. Uh, and so that will bring you, you will work really hard on your project and all that so that you can uh, go to the phase three and uh, pitch your project at Series Mania 2024. Um, so it will be uh, in March uh, also, and uh, it will be part of the official programming of Series Mania. Uh, so, uh, and it will be very uh, more uh, in the goal to, uh, to find more financiers and uh, buyers and all that for your project. Uh, and so, uh, that's about it for uh, the three phases. Uh, Constance, do you want to give more uh, more details about the eligible projects, please? Yes, thank you, Kate. Uh, and especially since I saw some question about this uh, in the chat. So um, we are mostly looking for a TV series um, you know, of fiction. So it could be original creation or adaptation. Um, Episodes must be at least 26 minutes each. And we're looking for um, seasons of at least three episodes. It doesn't mean that you need to have several seasons, but at, at least basically what we're saying is that we are do not accept a single uh, program, program, which is like a one hour long program, for instance. Um, we are only looking for live action series, so no animation, no documentaries as well. Um, and uh, those series has to be shot in French, English, in both those languages or in French or English and another or several other languages. Uh, so basically, we always want to have at least either French or English, and then you can have many other languages. <laughs> If you want, um, the project you submit has to be uh, submitted by a, a production, sorry, a production company eligible through the French uh, government criteria and our own criteria, which are the one by the Canadian Media Fund. Um, you can find all of those in the guidelines uh, for the initiatives that are on the on the Series Media uh, website. We're gonna share the link. Don't worry. Um, then we want project with a clear and complete chain of rights. And for phase one, at this stage, we don't want project with already an agreement, a development agreement with a broadcaster. Um, so yeah, basically this is pre-development or development depending on, yeah. Oh yeah, but, sorry, Kate, this is what you said. <laughs> um, and so this initiative, uh, just to be clear, because I saw the question, is not a funding scheme. It's really an initiative to accompany uh, the development of co-production and to help you through. That's going to be funding opportunities through, through this for you to participate to the initiative, but not to fund your project. Um, and no, sorry, I'm seeing the question as well. You don't need to have uh, three episodes at least filmed and written before uh, submitting your project. It's just that it has to be um, thought of as a several episode project, basically. Um, and so basically this uh, selection process is, um, but sorry, just on the Fundy scheme, uh, just to mention that, of course, you are eligible to all of the existing funding available through the CMF, 
through the provincial, through all of the, the funding that already exists aside of this initiative. Um, so for the phase one, the selection process, uh, you can apply through two different ways. Um, either you have a series project based on the criteria I just mentioned, and you can apply with your project. Um, we are going to select up to 15 projects per country, so 15 French projects and 15 Canadians. Um, and the selection is going to be done by uh, the team of Ceres Media and uh, several external ex uh, experts. Basically, at, at this stage, what we want to know is mostly if there is room in your project for it to be a Canada France co production and if it has international appeal. Um, but if you don't have a project, you can also apply to the initiative. Um, and then you would be a producer looking for a project. Um, and so then it's really simple. You're going to fill out the form just to um, basically state why you would be interested in co-producing. And if you've already co-produced and or produced, just to know a little bit more about you and what you're looking for in order to, when we go to a series, many yeah, we can do the matchmaking properly with, with you and the other project. And also, just so you know, you can also do both. You can apply with your own project and also state that you are interested in co-producing French projects. Um, so the call for phase one is going to close on January 23rd. Um, so you still have a couple of weeks to apply. It's not a very long and difficult uh, uh, form. Just we want to know the main um, characteristic of your initiative and simple elements. Um, and uh, then uh, for phase two and three, we're going to have a new call opening in April 23. So just after series, many are. And then you will have to apply in pairs. So either, and I also see the question in the in the chat, either throughout series many are 23, you will thank you will have found your co-producing partner. Or uh, if you already have a partner, you can apply uh, with your French partner at this stage. Um, so for this phase, um, still, it's always the same eligibility criteria in terms of project we're looking for. And then uh, the project, so we're going to select in the end five uh, co-production projects. Uh, through a jury of uh, four to six um, representative, representative, sorry, from the French and Canadian industry. Um, and they, uh, there again, we're looking for uh, organic co-production potential, um, the originality and creativity of the project, uh, its feasibility and um, the relevance of the creative team. Um, and so like it's compliant to the terms and condition of the new treaty that you have creative uh, roles in France and in Canada. And like, how do you plan on working uh, with your French partners? Um, and of course, in the end, uh, choosing those five projects, we of course be very uh, keen to be sure we have a good representation of both French speaking and uh, English speaking projects or the other languages I've mentioned, um, and to be sure we have a good representation of the diversity of Canada in terms of provinces, communities, um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to go further into the details of this. Do we have any questions at this stage? Um, otherwise, I'm just going to pass the mic back to, to Bob. Looks like we're good, Constance. Maybe you can continue. Um, so, so actually, we we are quite done, uh, but we are happy to answer uh, any other question if you if you have some. Yeah, I think we had a lot of questions about uh, projects uh, already uh, filmed mm -hmm. or written. So, um, like, what we are looking for is more project. Uh, I like that you are at the stage of pre-development. Uh, if you have some episode written, but that you think that you you need a, a French co-producer, 
uh, to like to develop the project uh, with them. It's like the right initiative uh, to apply, but you know it needs to be like really an organic project. Maybe a project that uh, there's a story with uh, uh, someone in France or with uh, like a, a French actor or um, uh, yeah. So um, the Bible, the Bible, it will be more for phase two. So for this phase, the phase one, uh, we just need some details uh, about your project, but we don't need the, the Bible. Hi, and Rima. so to answer the last question, uh, yes, if you don't apply for phase one, you can apply for phase two, but uh, only if you have uh, French co-producers. For phase two and three, we only accept uh, duos of French uh, and Canadian co-producers. And, and I also saw a question, sorry, uh, about the number of episodes. If you have a three, uh, sorry, a six episode series, uh, since all minimum requirement for episode three, you don't need to rewrite it to make it a nine episode series. Um, so this is very up to you to like what makes more sense to your project. Are there any more questions? I think there was a question regarding um, can producers who don't apply for phase one still apply for phase two? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes, only if during phase two, uh, when you apply, you have your French co producer. Are there any more questions for Kate or Constance? Something just came in. In terms of budget and financing plan, basically at phase one, what we want to know is that um, how your uh, potential French co-producer can join the project and like what uh, part of funding and uh, financing you are looking for? Like, uh, is it going to be a 40%, 60% co-production? Is it going to be a 20, 80 percent. Um, so it doesn't need to be uh, very detailed, but like we basically want to know, is it a four million per episode type of project or is it smaller or bigger? Um, it's OK if you don't have French actors signed yet, basically your French co-producer uh, can be here to help you find and uh, cast French actors. So that's very okay. <laughs> Who are the Canadian broadcasters involved in this initiative? Yeah, there, there is no Canadian broadcasters uh implicated really uh, at this stage because uh, we don't want to give uh, at the beginning we're uh, maybe thinking and having some in the juries but we don't want to give a priority to one broadcaster or the other uh, in some projects so uh, the broadcasters they will be uh, invited to participate to the co-pro pitch uh, at Series Mania 2024 and probably in Banff they will be uh, they they will be uh, aware of the initiative, and I'm sure that they will want to see uh, the selected projects. You don't need. I see another question. You don't need to be an experienced producer to apply. There is. I don't think we have criteria on the experience of producer because basically what we are going to judge is your project and its international appeal and co-production potential. Um, but I guess it's still, it's going to be, if you've never produced a project before, I wouldn't, and this is my advice as trade commissioner, and I'm happy to chat with you specifically, but uh, it's difficult to, if it's your first production, to start with an international co-production because it's a bit um, intense, I guess, to do and, and more, uh, yeah, complicated. 
Um, but no, we don't have any criteria on that. Um, um, yes, if you have a series in English, you can look for French co-producers. One of the uh, goal also of this initiative is to um, increase the number of France Canada uh, co-production in English. Um, and, and for sure, French co-producer, French potential producers right now are also looking for English speaking projects because they want it to be uh, of appeal on the global market. So language is not an issue. You don't have to have a project only in French, even if it's with friends. Yes, and the question from John, uh, yeah, you can apply to phase one, John, if you don't have a, a, a French producer now, so to find one, yeah. My series is 51% indigenous uh, French, so I'm hoping this is good, yes, that qualified. Um, if the... It, it, the 51 person, I guess, uh, is still Canadian, right? We would have to to know what the other 49 are. But yeah, uh, without knowing anything about the project, I would say yes. Um, can the producers uh, be related? That's, uh, um, so this is more of a question of reli reliability uh, to the co-production treaty. Um, and so basically, just to be very clear, you need to have two different companies to do a France-Canada co-production. It, could, it, could, it can't be the same, uh, let's say, a Canadian company with a satellite office in France. This doesn't work, usually, in co-pro. If you've already uh, filmed episodes, um, this might be a bit late for this initiative because really we, we were looking, as we said before, for pre in, project in pre-development. Uh, the reason why we're looking for project that early is that when you find your right co-producers, uh, co-producer, sorry, they can really have also an artistic role in the project. And so, if it's already filmed, it's a bit late, uh, too late to just like really work together on the artistic and, and uh, part of the, the project and the, and the script, for sure. Any more questions? I'll give it a, a moment. And so you can just, uh, so on the, on the uh, page you see right now on the screen, on the screen, sorry, I uh, encourage you to go to the last link because there you, you will find all of the details, this presentation actually, and also um, all of the guidelines for, for the, for, to apply for the initiative. And if you have questions, you can just reach out to Kate and, and myself. Well, thank you very much, Constance and Kate. If there are more questions, there are some more coming in. I'll, we've got time. <laughs> okay yeah, thank you sorry we were still uh, responding from questions yes that's fine <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for having us uh, bob and all the creative bc team and uh, yeah there there's still some time to apply so don't hesitate to uh, contact us if you have any questions that's great. Thank you very much again uh, for that. And thank you everyone for being on this call. I know um, there's lots of questions still. Uh, please take note of the contact information here for both Kate and Constance. Constance is based in Paris. So there is a time lag. So in case uh, you're you're wondering why it takes a, a little bit of time from Constance to reply. Uh, Kate is based in Montreal. So there's only the three hour difference there, uh, just in case you're trying to get answers quickly there. Um, this is a great um, opportunity. Uh, as you can see, there's only going to be, at the end of the day, there's only going to be five projects selected for this initiative uh, after the initial phase. So it will be very competitive. I, uh, I stress that. 
Um, however, uh, Create BC is supporting this initiative, and if uh, we will be looking at other uh, forms of support for this beyond uh, what uh, we're looking at for Series Mania uh, and the, the travel portion, you know, we'll probably look at some type of support for any of the BC, any BC companies or projects that get selected with travel support. There was a question about development funding as well. And Kate, I thank you very much. You, you did note that there will be through the uh, usual channels uh, through uh, CMF. Um, also, uh, British Columbia Creative BC has the project development fund. So if you do get any type of market interest from this uh, ahead of time. We will also come through uh, on, on that front as well. But we'll continue to look at you know, other supports uh, for this to try to develop and make uh, stronger pitches, especially from the BC uh, projects that are coming through. Once again, I just want to emphasize the deadline is January 23rd. That is a hard deadline. Um, we still have a couple of weeks to get it in, but uh, as Constance and Kate said, the application process is not that difficult. First phase is really to get in so that within one of the first 15 projects so that uh, you can travel to Banff uh, to during the World Media Festival to, uh, to you know, work, go through the workshops uh, that are available there. Um, I thank you. I, uh, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that this presentation will be posted on our website as well. So if you uh, need to follow up with questions, uh, uh, the, con the uh, contact information will, that will be on uh, in the presentation on our website if you need to follow up with uh, questions on that uh, front. Um, with that, I, I will say thank you very much to, again, to Kate and Constance for uh, being available to do this presentation. I hope to see the, uh, lots of BC applications uh, to this initiative. It's a great initiative there. And if there's uh, anything else uh, that needs to be, uh, if there's any questions for Creative BC on this, feel free to contact myself or Matthew Perry or Robin McCabulous, who are on this call as well, uh, with any follow-up questions. But with that, uh, Constance, Kate, thank you very much. And uh, we'll hope to hope everybody has a great day. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.